Hey, 922 family, Pastor Bill here checking with you on uh, this Tuesday for our Grow Root emphasis, being in the Word of God at home. Uh, And if you notice behind me, uh, I've got a little bit of a green screen. We are really getting tech savvy around here for our 922 ministries. Uh, And green screens, of course, you can always uh, display pictures like, oh man, look at that. That is, uh, that is weird. Maybe, maybe this is just a public service announcement. If you have any funny costumes for Easter. Just just make sure they're not scary like that. Kids just don't like that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, greens. I'm just having too much fun with the green screen. You got to laugh a little bit, right? Anyway, the reason why I work with a green screen today is because I wanted to share with you a couple resources that I think could be great if you're looking for new home devotions. Now, having said that, there's so much content out there. You got your Time of Grace devotions are, are phenomenal. You see them online. You got your U version app, which is on your phone. That's great too. Wells devotions. You can go to uh, wells.net and get some devotions that way. Check out our old sermon uh, themes and series on our uh, church app uh, or Facebook and YouTube. It's great. If you're looking to dig into the scriptures directly and you're not much of a reader and maybe you feel like your kids just won't listen to you as you read the scriptures. Again, if you're new at this or you're looking to change it up, I'm going to encourage you just to think about two resources. One is just straight out, word for word, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, uh, those gospels have been done by a company by the name of Lumo. So if you go to the YouTube, if you go to YouTube and search Lumo, L-U-M-O, you can find this cool resource, word for word, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's church family. We're going through Matthew, so uh, you can catch up tomorrow, Matthew 23, and finish the gospel that way. Invite your family to watch it with you. And then just ask, so what do you think? I mean, what would it be like to be with Jesus? And Can you just imagine? You know, just have a conversation like that uh, and, and see if you can't do that this holy week. And what a great week to get this started. Another approach just to being in the Word, talking about the things of faith, I'm going to recommend a movie called Risen. Now, that came out a a few years ago, but it's a great apologetics or a defense of the uh, faith kind of approach talking about Christ's resurrection. Now, it's PG-13, so I just want to warn you a little bit. For It's not necessarily for younger audiences. It's pretty clean and everything. It just deals with the crucifixion, and there's a scene of a a dead body and and so on. So just keep that in mind. But uh, another great way, again, just thinking of making devotions, not always having to be so formal. Just sitting down, watching the Word of God, watching some uh, Christian drama, some movie, listening to some song, talking about the lyrics. Those are great approaches for everyday home devotions. Now, when you add that kind of content to what we said last week, two things in place, scheduling it every day, And keeping yourselves accountable by asking your spouse or a friend to check up on you, man, that just makes a great recipe for being in the Word of God. So that's all I got for you this Tuesday. I look forward to next Tuesday after celebrating such an awesome week in the resurrection to life through the glorious resurrection of Jesus. Uh, I can't wait till next Tuesday, as well as just in spirit, being with you throughout the weekend, celebrating the greatest thing of all, life everlasting. So God be with you. Have a blessed Easter, no matter what's going on in the world. Uh, Have fun being with your immediate family and just celebrate God's goodness. We'll see you next Tuesday.